Hello everyone and welcome to Sunday. Today's bounty. This. Well, this and then the negative space, some of it's in here. And then there were so many of your other tomatoes that I scooped up. Yeah, we're 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 trying to get rid of tomatoes. This was a there was a lot actually for today. Um since a lot of those yellow ones that have been growing again are starting to finish up, so I I got quite a bit of those today. But that looks really good. Oh, I forgot about the vlog. <laughs> I dressed crappy because I remember gonna sit and watch a movie, and I was like, it'll be fine if I'm just in my PJs, and then I was like, oh crap, the vlog. It's also fine to be comfortable. Being comfortable is fine. No, 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 no. Women are not allowed to be comfortable. That is the law. <laughs> Not a law I sent. Um, Alex Ooh. is working on difficult to peel these suckers, especially when they coat them in wax. Yeah, they. Mm. There must be a secret that I'm not aware of. I also don't know what the secret is. If you are a chef, or you work at America's Test Kitchen, or you know how to chop one of these melons, or even what this melon is. It's wait, an acorn squash. An acorn, acorn squash. squash. It ain't a melon. I mean, I um, usually put them in the Let us know in the comments. So that the wax melts off. That's smart. <laughs> well, I probably should have said something earlier. It's, it's fine. fine. It's going great. Mal, what are you working on? I'm making the base for this. This is phyllo dough. You're making what? The base for this with the squash. The base for the squash? Yeah, it's a tart. So this is phyllo dough. Well, we haven't talked about the tart. The tart has no context. So yeah. I'm tart? making a squash tart for okay. the neighbors. Okay. So the neighbors are getting well. It makes two. The neighbors are getting a tart, but we're also getting a tart. Yeah. Okay. And then we're at some point we're going to eat um, a dinner as well. We're gonna we're gonna uh, watch a, a movie film. Yes, movie film. Uh, it's it's a Sunday. We're all moving a little slow, and we're gonna relax. Have I explained the concept of the couch pit on the vlog? I feel like I have, but I'm not entirely certain. So, as you may know, the, the couch in the living room is massive. Um, there's a lot of couch, and it's just it's couch that we have bought over the years. When we moved in here, we only had to buy one tiny section in order to make this, because uh, we already had all the pieces anyway. And we've had this the, the piece of the couch for for what feels like eons of our lives, but we've never had it connected until this home. So all of the pieces are different. So like this is a love seat and then this is a corner and then this is a love seat and this is a corner and this is a love seat, but we've never had any of the stuff connected, which has honestly created some problems in the past because the pieces start to like slide away from each other. So in this house, we actually connected them. Everything in the living room is Velcro zip tied together on the legs to prevent them from sliding apart, which we really needed to do. However, there's one piece that we didn't do that to, and that is this one. And the purpose of that is so if we want to, we can take the coffee table out of the middle of the room. This couch can slide forward as you can see, this is that's where the edge is. So we've slid it forward one full seat length, and then we can take the ottoman and put it here. And as soon as we do, this entire thing is just like a big relaxation lounge. It's like the entire thing becomes an ottoman because you've got the ottoman here, but also like the sides of the love seats become ottomans as well. It's great. I. <laughs> I, I like to have like a, a like a normal formal seating area with a coffee table and everything. Like that's nice, but also this is my preferred way to like watch TV or movies or whatever. So I'm glad that we have the ability to to do this. And actually, um, I, I think I have explained the the couch pit before. But one new addition is this blanket. Um, we saw this blanket at Costco and we were very amused by it. It's, I think it's called a family blanket. It is 10 feet by 10 feet, which means that this blanket will actually cover this entire area. And it, the, the novelty of everyone being able to use a single blanket is very funny to me. Um, the other thing is that it's a very thick blanket. It might be a little too heavy for, um, 
summer, to be honest, but it'll be really, really great in the winter. Um, but yeah, this is the new addition, is this giant blanket, which was really cool. Anyway, we didn't watch a movie. Uh, we, we had talked about watching a movie, but um, as we were finishing dinner talking about if we wanted to watch a movie or not, that wasn't really the mood everyone was in. Everyone wanted to do something a lot more chill. So uh, there's this YouTube channel. I cannot remember the name of it. Someone in the comments might remember. Um, it's, a, it's a channel that... Um, Alex and Haley watch from time to time, especially Alex. It's this guy who does vlogs in Japan, and he doesn't speak. He doesn't show his face. He just shows whatever's happening, and he puts text on screen to show, like, what's happening or what his thoughts at the current time are. Um, and it's a very chill way of doing a vlog. Um and it really puts, uh, you know, it takes all of the focus off of the presenter and puts it onto the environment, which, you know, there's a million value, valid ways of, you know, creating entertainment, and that certainly is one of them. So it does create a very, like, mellow vibe, and uh, we actually just watched that tonight. We watched a few of those. I've seen him before, but we watched one where he was on a train and then another one where he was on a ferry, just going from like point A to point B in Japan. And um, it does definitely create some <laughs> feelings about, oh, I want to go back to Japan. <laughs> that would be fun. Um, yeah. Uh, it's been a few years. We went, we went to Japan in 2016 it was great. And then we went back in 2019. And it has now been four years. And um, the desire to go back is certainly there. It's certainly there. Also, we haven't done any, like, big substantial travel since the pandemic happened. Um, we've left the state a little bit. I mean, we moved states also. Uh, we went to like Carly's wedding in Minnesota, but like in Mal's been back to Wisconsin, but like we haven't really done any um, travel outside of that, either domestically and certainly not internationally. So like, yeah, that would be, that would be something fun to do. And it's, it's very easy to get the bug, the travel bug while watching videos like that and being like, I want to ride on the Shinkansen. When can I ride on the Shinkansen? <laughs> So the bug is certainly planted. Anyway, uh, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. It was nice to have just a chill night at home. And uh, I hope I don't say this very often on the vlog because like the vlogs are often at least a few days behind. Um, I say it on the stream, but like I hope that you had a good weekend. I had a good weekend. I had a lot of fun. I had a, a lot of fun tonight just like relaxing with my friends. I had a lot of fun yesterday going to the reptile convention in a way that I wasn't really completely expecting, but it was entertaining. Um, yeah, it was, it, was, it was a nice weekend, and I sincerely hope that all of you had a good weekend too. Okay. I'm gonna go to bed. Thanks for watching. Let's meet back tomorrow, shall we?